Okay, we do have some whitetail here. Isn't that amazing? Hey guys, we're back here on the Hunter Call the Wild and I'm Lady Legend. Today we're gonna be farming whitetail because I have started my latent great one grind once again. I did finally find all of my zones and boy did it ever take me a very long time. But I did have some help finding my zones from some very good friends because finding your zones, guys, is a huge, huge job and it does take many, many hours. So in today's video, I'm gonna share some of my very best tips for your Whitetail Great One grind here in Leighton Lakes and specifically how to know when you have found all of your zones. We're gonna head right into it. So for the past few weeks, I have been really, really searching very hard to find all of my Whitetail drink zones. Now, when you're doing the grind, guys, you don't need to worry about rest zones or feed zones. It is only the drink zones that you are looking for. Now, when I thought I had all of my zones, what I did to test it was I went around and I did shoot two bucks from several zones. Then I changed the time. I left my map and came back. And what I found were nothing but females in my zone. So that told me I still have more zones to find. Let's take a couple bucks here, shall we? Now I am using the Zarza 308. It is an amazing rifle for doing your great one grind on. Now I used to use the M1, which is also amazing, but we now have the 308, so I'm gonna use this baby. Beautiful. So one really important thing to be aware of, guys, is when you are grinding for whitetail, and this is not just in Leighton, this is on any of the whitetail maps, you will also find whitetail in Mississippi and in Rancho Del Arroyo. But when you're doing your grind, you never want to leave just one female in the zone. Because if you do, what will happen is you will never get respawns. Basically, it breaks the zone. Now, I think that is a bit of a bug. I don't think it is intended to be that way, but I could be wrong. But the only way to fix that is by killing that last female, and then you have to search for another zone. Now, when I did my latent grind a year ago, what used to happen then when you lost a zone is it would come back within 400 meters or to the closest water source. But I do understand that since the last couple of updates, that zone can be anywhere on your map, which makes finding it way more difficult. So it's totally okay to get some friends together and a huge shout out to my amazing mods who helped me find my whitetail zones and specifically my very last one, which made me able to do the grind. And we did do the grind live today for the very first time and they did respawn. And that makes me want to pop some champagne, let me tell you. <laughs> it is such a relief to have all of your whitetail zones found and have them respawn after looking for zones for hours. But when you're looking, guys, expect it to take a very long time and try not to get frustrated. Now, there is a little bit of a bug in the game right now where when you have whitetail jackrabbit zones, for example, this zone right here, this zone is a whitetail zone, as in whitetail deer. But whenever you have a zone that already has whitetail jackrabbits discovered, because it takes up two lines, it will not show whitetail. And it's very hard to know where your whitetail zones are when they are sharing a zone with whitetail jackrabbits. Now, hopefully that is gonna be fixed with an upcoming update, but that's the way it is right now. So what I would do is when you discover you have whitetail in a jackrabbit zone, put a tripod close by and that will help you to remember where that zone is. And so I have my tripod here for this zone right here. And that is a whitetail zone. So that's just something to be aware of. Now, since the last update, guys, you can do the Whitetail Great One grind or any Great One grind in multiplayer. Used to be that the host was the only one who would be able to spot the Great One were it to spawn, and any other players on the map would see a, I think it's a bugged out basic diamond or a bugged out like level three, basically a Whitetail that makes no sense. That's what other players would see. But that was fixed with the last update. So now when you are hunting in multiplayer, you can find great ones. Now the problem with doing a multiplayer great one grind with your friends is that who is going to get the great one when it spawns? There isn't gonna be one spawning for every player on the map. I personally like to do my great one grind in single player and you're gonna find this a lot in Layton. They do take a very long time sometimes to come into their zones. I do have respawns here. I have for the last three runs, but it does take them a while. Now I think in Layton, their rest zones can be very far away from their drink zones and they do spend a lot more time traveling. So you do have to have patience to do your whitetail grind here in Leighton Lakes. When you come to a zone and you don't find whitetail, go ahead and go to your next zone and check there and then go back 
and check again and they very well may be there and keep rechecking they will eventually show up in their zones annoying yes i know it is very annoying but that's just the way it is there's actually a zone right here and the way i found this zone was i found it through tracks tracking is an absolutely amazing way to help you find your zones because they like to hide them but good also when you're looking for your zones guys listen for mating calls follow those tracks look for need zone indicators i found more than half of my whitetail zones while I was hunting gators in Mississippi from picking up their need zone indicators. And they will be on the map for quite a while after Whitetail stopped drinking. Now I like to use the grunt collar. That is my preferred collar when I'm grinding Whitetail because it gets the most range. It will pull them in from the furthest distance. So therefore it is the most effective collar for Whitetail. Ooh, we got two max waiters. Yes, they are definitely respawning. So we have two beauties here and I do have a bad win. So we need to Take care of those right away. Now I don't find it as useful to use the 300 when grinding for whitetail as I do with red deer because any shot into a whitetail will kill it even if you shoot it in the earlobe basically with a 30 odd six or a 308 bullet. The reason I use the 300 on red deer is because no matter what shot you take that red deer will die. But when you are using only the 308 that is not necessarily the case. And we got them both. Now what I'm doing is taking the biggest two bucks from every zone. I understand that they respawn better when you only take two. So that is what I'm going to do to start. And I may change as I go. This is a little bit of a learning curve for me because I have not done this grind in about a year. I have been sticking, well, it's not a year. I did get my great one whitetail in September of last year. So several months and things do change with updates. Okay, so here are our two big boys. 220.8 absolutely beautiful and the 308 does an absolutely amazing job just drops them in their tracks so the 308 comes in the modern rifles weapon pack which is our latest weapon pack to come to call the wild and it is really a great weapon pack and that guy is a 218 two big boys beautiful so if you would like to keep track of how many bucks you have killed in your grind you actually have to do that yourself the game only keeps track of total harvests in the game so what I do is I use a click counter. That's that noise right there. And I bought it off of Amazon and I do click it for every buck that I kill. I don't count females because females will not spawn in great ones. Okay, so we're at another zone and we do have white tail here, which is sweet. Makes me very excited that they are in their zones. Now, if you don't have the cash to start your grind with tents and tripods, you do absolutely need tents, but you can add tripods later and you will make cash even with whitetail, even though they don't pay nearly as well as red deer, you will definitely make cash because to get them to respawn, you only need to change the time one time. Now, what I also do is I do leave the game and come back. That seems to get them into their zone sooner. Now, another trick that really works, I noticed it works amazing with red deer and it is working with whitetail as well, is if you're coming to a zone and you don't have deer there or you have some deer but not very many leave your game and come back go straight to that zone and they may very well be there it does work not every time but it really does help now when you're doing your grind guys you're gonna have 40 drink zones in Leighton Lakes. If you're doing your grind in Rancho Del Arroyo, there are, I believe, 60 drink zones to be found in Rancho. And in Mississippi, there are actually 70 drink zones. There are a lot of whitetail in Mississippi. But Mississippi is a very thick map. Who knows, we may end up doing a great one grind there as well. So to date, I have killed 9,200 whitetail. And from those 9,200, I have spawned only one great one whitetail. I have not had very good luck with this grind. The red deer have been really kind to me. In my 8,000 kills with the red deer, I have spawned five great one red deer, but with the white tail, I've only spawned one. So we need to change that. It really does come down to RNG, but try not to shoot the little ones, guys. I am, if I can at all help it, not shooting the level ones. I am shooting the twos and the threes, obviously. It just seems to spawn bigger deer faster, diamonds more quickly, and hopefully get that great one on your map 
even faster. But at the end of the day, it still does come down to pure RNG, random number generated, which means it is luck. 174. Now I like to do my grind with my dog. I do pick up all of my kills and then I move to the next zone. So with your 40 zones, you don't want to farm every single zone. As many as you can get through in one time rotation. Now Whitetail drink here in Layton from 12 until 16 or 1630. So you have four to four and a half hours to do your grind, which is awesome. So in those four hours, I might be able to get to about 15 or 16 spots, but I am just starting my grind, so time will tell on that. Now you wanna pick spots that are wide open that you can easily access, shoot your deer, pick them up, and get to the next zone as fast as possible. Speed is super important. The faster you can get through, the faster that great one is gonna be in your lodge. Ooh, look at that, we missed the heart. That was unfortunate. So that's where we were, right there. Another thing I wanted to mention, guys, is when you do have all of your zones discovered, what will happen is the deer will respawn only into the zones you shoot deer out of and not into any other zones. So if and when your great one spawns, it will only spawn into zones you have been farming. So you should find it very, very quickly. But there you have it, guys. Those are some really awesome tips that will hopefully get your great one to spawn sooner here in Leighton Lakes. And I really hope you guys did enjoy the video. That's gonna wrap it up for this one. Don't forget to leave a like, guys. I appreciate it so much, and we will definitely see you guys in the next one. Let's shoot this big boy, shall we? Take care, guys.